Changes could be coming to how Airbnb and other short term rentals are owned and operated in the city of Richmond. Tonight, City Council is set to vote on those new recommendations to control how many are out there. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joins us live in the Digital Center with more on what will go before the council. Roland. Well, Deanna, controlling short term rentals has been an ongoing conversation for years, and in tonight's vote, the city is yet again tasked with how to balance growing tourism and affordable housing. Tonight's new regulations about Airbnb and short term rentals will go before City Council. This after the Planning Commission revisited the need for regulation for the first time in three years. Their findings showed that out of the nearly 5,000 short term rentals in the Richmond area, many did not receive permits. A problem Leah Coleman, Airbnb owner and real estate agent, says needs oversight. Otherwise, I think the the hosts are going to continue to be booked and unbothered um, until we can have you know, something great to present them um, that doesn't infringe on their, you know, rights. Coleman says short term rental regulations must make sense for Richmond's growing tourism population, something the city says they're trying to accomplish while controlling the number of long term housing options for residents. Hosts shared their concerns about the primary residency requirement. This requires hosts in residential neighborhoods to live in the home for most of the year. The city recognizes that this would require additional resources to enforce, but there is still no word yet on how they plan to do so. Now we're learning residents can use additional units like backyard cottages as short term rentals. Some people have the mind may have the mindset of we're going to have little hotels in the middle of like single family residential neighborhoods. It's not really like that. It's like you're inviting a guest to come stay with you for the weekend. Like it is so fun. It's magical. It's a great way to introduce people from around the world to the culture here. Now I asked the city how they plan to increase enforcement if this recommendation passes and I have yet to hear back. We will be keeping an eye on tonight's decision before a complete look at the recommendation for yourself. Visit this story on our website at WRIC.com. Reporting live tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.